How's it going guys, guys, and pals? I'm Alison Wonderwin and your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and in today's video I have a new camera and a new tool. And I thought it might be a good opportunity to make the most of both and intersperse clips of my majestic pussy and clips of me talking about my majestic new pussy. Now, jokes aside, it's been a little while since I last talked about my surgery, but rest assured things have not stopped happening. So let me get you up to speed real quickly. I am now about six months post-op. I got my gender reassignment surgery done in Thailand on September the 19th of 2023. The last six months have been a pretty crazy roller coaster to say the least. So much has swirled around in my mind that I don't honestly <laughs> really even know where to begin. I want to start by saying a huge thank you to everyone that watched my big main surgery video. That video did amazingly well and it was a really humbling experience seeing that and reading all of your comments. I believe that video is directly attributable to about three or four thousand new subscribers as well. So if any of you are watching, welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you here and I hope you've been enjoying my terrifically stupid content thus far. I have big plans, so stay tuned. Now, I'm not gonna go super full in depth on my whole story today. If you want the full scoop, you can check out this video here. But suffice to say, about a year ago, I made a commitment to all of you and to myself that I would take on the situation sort of as an amateur journalist and I intend to continue with that. So, where are we at six months? What's happened recently? Well, a lot. Healing continues, scars lighten, tenderness lessens, dilation decreases, etc, etc. When we last talked, I was dealing with a lot of swelling. I'm glad to say that now, at about six months, that's not a problem for me anymore. And I'm happy to say that I've just kind of been able to go about living my regular life again. It took me a few months to get kind of used to sitting again, but you know, now I'm kind of back to my original capacity. It's awesome. So for those of you thinking of getting bottom surgery, but scared that you may suffer in terms of mobility, yeah, Yes, you will for a little while, but now I feel like one of those girls in those weird sanitary pad commercials. You know the ones. I'm just prancing through the fields unconcerned with life. It's great. I've also been able to go swimming and that is so awesome. Oh my god, finally I can wear super tight clothing. Oh, it's just awesome. Slipping into the water in a tight, beautiful one-piece swimsuit is a level of gender euphoria that I can't really even describe. That much has been awesome. Now, I wish I could tell you that I'd been experimenting and committing journalistic investigation in the form of sex for, this, for the sake of, you know, being a journalist. But unfortunately, I haven't really gotten that far. The opportunities have been there, but to tell you the truth, time is more valuable to me than anything right now, and I'm just so committed to making videos, and on top of that, I also have a 40 hour a week full time job. I just haven't had the time or the energy. God damn it, Alice, this is about journalism! Go have sex for the people! <laughs> uh, jokes aside, and this is kind of unrelated to anything really, but recently I've been feeling kind of arrow aches just for the last few months. Now, I know myself and I know my needs pretty damn well, and I'm like 100% certain that that's just a temporary thing related to, you know, a lack of time, my workload, my stress levels, etc, etc. But because of that, I just don't see myself seeking out that aspect of life in the near future. It's all good though. To be honest, this is when I'm at my best. I feel like a mother demon or a goddess or something. I am like so f***ing productive. I am getting so much work done and it feels awesome. That is more exciting to me than any sexual encounter. I can, however, tell you that I'm quite certain I wouldn't have any issues if it came down to that. Dilation and my own experimentation have taught me that much for sure. On that topic, I know a lot of you are very curious about dilation, so let's delve into that a little bit. Here's a brief explanation of dilation. You set yourself up, you lube up your dilators, you ease them in one at a time, little bit of gentle pressure, and then you leave them in for a few minutes. Pretty easy, honestly, and it hasn't been any trouble for me, just mild discomfort. That being said, in truth, it's really very different for everyone. Everyone's experience differs. I wish I could tell you exactly what to expect, but it really is luck of the draw. Some people, it is a breeze. No problem at all, just mild discomfort, like me, but for others, it's a real struggle. Regardless of how lucky you are, however, I can tell you with absolute certainty that across all of the people I have talked to, it always gets easier with time. So just keep at it and it'll get easier and easier for you. When I started, it was taking me two hours collectively every day. And now I am down to about 20 minutes. Honestly, that's like totally manageable. It's just another daily task that I complete in the morning. 
And every now and again, I give myself a little workout, you know, just to see how easy it would be if, you know, I really got the opportunity to try it out. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video where I go a bit more depth about dilation. And now, where we go from here? Because, as I mentioned in my main video, I am unfortunately not done. The journalism is not finished. And I'm gonna keep you updated the whole way. At the end of the day, where I'm at is that I'm not entirely happy with the looks at the moment. This is a very common problem, and luckily for me, my fix is only a very simple revision surgery. It's not gonna be terribly painful or crippling like my original surgery, and it's certainly not gonna take as much time to recover from. But it is going to carve up my wallet a bit, especially since I have a plan to bring you more information. You see, I originally went for what's called a scrotal skin graft surgery, but I'm actually thinking while I get my revision, I may undergo an additional procedure to get that swapped out for a peritoneal graft. Obviously, the peritoneal method is a much newer form of surgery that's really gaining a lot of popularity at the moment and is seemingly netting people better results. But at the same time, it's always hard to verify that from person to person. Which is why this is so exciting to me, because if I go through with that, I will be one of the only people on the planet to have actually had both of them. And from that, I'll be able to draw my own conclusions and tell you conclusively which is better, or if they're the same, or whether or not they're even worth the extra costs associated with X surgery. Journalism! It will also likely get me a better vagina so that I can get f but the main thing with that, however, is that this whole experience is going to be very expensive. Yet again, you know, the travel, the accommodation, the aesthetic revision surgery, and the peritoneal graft surgery. Thanks to my incredible members, I am looking okay at the moment. I won't have to go into debt again, barely, but at the same time, that peritoneal graft is actually an additional cost and that may well put me over the line. Now, I'm not an alarmist and I want to be totally clear that I will make do. I'm not going to be homeless, I'm not going to be struggling or anything, but this will significantly hurt my ability to reinvest back into my YouTube channel, which is my main passion and my ability to bring you information and entertainment. Probably for the next year or two, this will significantly hurt my ability to do that, which you know is a pretty heavy thing for me. So please, if you believe in me and what I'm doing and if my videos have helped you, Please consider becoming a member and being a commissioned officer in my queer army. I would really appreciate your help. Here are our current officers. Thank you so much to all of you. Your support has helped me do amazing things so far. We have ranks all the way from lieutenant to captain to colonel to general and then finally to five star general. I also have the buy me a coffee page for those of you that don't want to give money to Google and YouTube. They actually take a smaller percentage of your donation as well. So if you want to put it this way, I technically get more bang for your buck, but it's also a lot more inconvenient. It's not on this platform. So it's up to you really. I have no specific preference. Both membership options, you will have access to my members only videos. Buy Me A Coffee is also far better suited to facilitating one-time donations if that's the route you want to go down. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. I could really use your help as always. And I am so, so thankful for all of your support so far. But anyway, to conclude, things are pretty stable at the moment. I am a functioning human being again now, but there is unfortunately more work on the horizon. Just in case you'd forgotten, I'm going to leave you here with my main points from my main video, just because I think they really are that important. One, please, if you're getting bottom surgery, please, please take your support person. Someone that you can trust and someone who is not going to be squeamish when they see you at your absolute worst. Please, like this. This surgery is so, so difficult to go through. And two, don't go into surgery thinking that it will be one and done because the odds are that it won't be. It is extremely common for patients of this surgery to require a revision surgery down the lane. In fact, I would almost say that you should go into this surgery expecting it to be a two-part process. And if it's not, then hooray. You just have a better time than everyone else. I think it's all about managing expectations. So please keep that in mind. Anyway. I've been your favorite Kiwi Trans Girl. Thanks for watching.